Welcome back to DCL 703. I'm going to try to try to stop coughing and sneezing for nine minutes and record this video. Wish me luck. Okay. This will be on the factory reset. I'm going to show you how to set the thing up so that it it goes back to the same configuration it had when you first pulled it out of the box. If you haven't seen DCL 701 and 702, go down in the description below this video, click the playlist link, and look for playlist DCL 700, and that has all my nano, v nano VNA videos in it. Right now there's only two, 701 and 702, but there's going to be several more in the next couple of weeks. I'm speaking on July 11th, 2025. Okay, factory reset. What you need is you need your H4, you need a computer, you need the H4's USB cable, which is the only item in the picture you need, and I use PuTTY as a program to talk to the device. You might have something you like better, but you need something to talk down the serial line to the device. I go to PuTTY. You can type in PuTTY into Google. Or you can just go to www.putty.org. But whatever you do, make sure that is the site you go to, not any other site. The reason I say that is there are many sites that will download PuTTY for you, but they also put spyware on your computer. PuTTY.org would never do that. So click this link. The t there's a lot on the page, but the very top of the page looks like this. Click the blue highlighted link. Now, it's going to take you to another website, but don't worry, because this is part of the PuTTY project, so don't worry about that. If you're running a Windows PC, grab the file in the box. Now, there's rarely times you're going to grab one of the other files, and as far as Apple goes, I don't know about Apple products. I, I don't know what file you grab. I'm sure there's one there on the page. It's not shown. It's down below. But most of you are running Windows, so that's that's what I recommend you grab. Now, once you download it, go to your Downloads folder. And it, depending on your computer settings, it's going to look like the text or it's going to have that little icon. Whatever you have, click on it. This is going to come up. Just click Next, then click Next. It's all installed. I would uncheck that box in the red box because who needs to read the file? Then click Finish. Now, PuTTY is installed. So now you're going to go to uh, Control Panel and open Device Manager or just go to Device Manager. When you get to Device Manager, click on the Ports icon so you can see all your ports. Grab your H4 with it turned off. Plug the cable into it. Plug the other end of that cable into your computer. When you turn the H4 on, the computer will bump, telling you it found new hardware. That new hardware is, of course, your H4. Notice what COM port it gave the H4. Just remember that. In my case, it's 7. Now, go to your recent programs or your search bar and type in PuTTY and run PuTTY. PuTTY will look like that. First thing you're going to do is click the serial button. Then up here, it's probably going to say COM1, which of course is probably wrong. So put your cursor up there and change that to whatever you saw in the device manager. Hit enter or hit open. If it connects, it will look just like this. If you get a message that it can't find the VNA, that it could, it'll say can't connect to the device. That doesn't make any sense because if you put the right COM port in, there should not be any problem. When you get to this point, type in help. Then hit enter. You'll get this window. The reason I do this is I can never remember. I can just never remember commands. Okay. The one you want is clear config. Type in clear config space one, two, three, four. When you hit enter, nothing will happen for about two seconds. And then this happens. 
a restart of the H4 is waiting. The H, if you look at the H4 right now, it doesn't look like you, look like you did anything. But if you turn the H4 off, this will happen. Click the OK. Click the X. You're done with putty. Now turn the H4 back on and you're going to find out it has reset. But as it says on the screen here, you've got to, you've got to calibrate the touch screen. So let me show you the whole process and how fast it is. I just hit clear config and I've hit enter. I turn it off. I turn it on. And look at that. The frequency spread has gone back to 50 kilohertz to 900 megahertz. I've got my four, my four traces that I don't want, of course. Uh, it's uncalibrated and it's insane, which is what I wanted. I want it to be right back to factory. I'm going to calibrate the touch screen config touch cal hit the dot hit the dot we are done now you can set the device up any way you want and start over my only closing thoughts this time are man i did it in under seven minutes <laughs> imagine that next time It'll be a big video. It won't be too long. Don't worry. I'm actually going to talk about watt meter readings and SWR and return loss and Smith charts. I won't go heavily into Smith charts until probably 705 or 707. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided when I'm going to do that. The point of the next video, why am I talking about watt meters? Why am I talking about SWR? Why am I talking about return loss when most ham operators and even to a radio people don't care about it. It's because I want you to understand the relationship between all of these and realize what's really going on. The nano VNA will become a, how can I want to, how do I want to say this? It'll become like the, the scales have fallen from your eyes. You will understand those traces so well. And the secret is they're not that hard to understand. They really aren't. I am going to do my best in the next episode in about 25 minutes to get you to the point where you understand what all these things mean, including the Smith chart. We won't go deep into the Smith chart, but we'll, we'll do a little overview of it. I want you to understand what's on the display, because if you can understand what's on that display, the tool becomes very powerful in your hands and your ability to do things with it greatly expands. Okay, we're at eight minutes. That's long enough. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.